All right, I thought this would be a cool way to lead into The Wolf Among Us. And it's just a little character synopsis. We're going to go through the characters in the prologue or the first part to the series. So we've got Bigby Wolf. He's the Fable Town Sheriff. The renowned Big Bad Wolf. He's known for tormenting pigs and girls in red hoods, but is trying to put those dark days behind him. Bigsby now acts as Fable Town's sheriff and remains in the human form mostly. However, due to his rough past, the citizens of Fable Town are slow to trust him. Bigsby is determined to show that he's truly changed, but some instincts are just too hard to control. Alright, so we're going to go to the, woodman, the woodsman, fallen hero. This dude's a badass too, which you'll see if you watch the next part, which I'm going to leave an annotation to. You can just click on it and you'll go to the prologue or the first part of this series. And you can also look on my channel for it or the playlist. So the woodsman, fallen hero. The woodsman is one of the few men who went toe to toe with Bigsby in the Black Forest days and lived to tell the tale. In an attempt to save Little Red Riding Hood, he split the great wolf's belly open with his axe, filled him full of rocks and threw the beast in the river. To his dismay, his popularity has faded. Even his name is forgotten, and he is the only known as the Woodsman. All right. So now we're going to go to this dude, which I think is just badass, Mr. Toad, the Slumlord. Mr. Toad is the superintendent for a defunct tenement on the edge of Fable Town proper. Because he's a three and a half foot talking amphibian, Toad is required to is required by Fable Town law to keep his family and himself magically glamoured to appear human. The problem is Toad isn't too concerned with what the law is and has to be reminded often. Alright, so a little background on Fable Town, home of the Fables. Fable Town is a community located on Bull Bullfinch Street in Manhattan's Upper West Side. To regular people or Mondays, it appears to be an ordinary New York neighborhood, but it is really the home of fables and many worlds. And within the business offices as the Woodlands lies a massive cavern, a vast library, and hundreds of magical items of immense power. All non-human fables li live upstate on the farm, an extension of Fable Town. All right, the farm. The farm, home, the farm is home to fables who cannot pass as humans, giants, goblins, animals, etc. It is located in the upstate New York, far enough away from the Mondays to avoid detection. Some of its residents reside their confinement to the farm, or resent, yeah. Despite its size and comforts to them, the farm is a prison. They would be allowed to leave the farm if they could purchase a glamour, but many don't have the money for something so expensive. Though some, like Colin, sneak onto sneak out into the city anyway all right so glamour or disguise spells look at that hot chick turned into whatever the hell that is glamours are spells that allow the user to change their appearance they are expensive but can be purchased by non-human fables in order to pass for human among the mondays cheap glamours can be found in the seedier parts of fable town but they are often unreliable and prone to sudden failure. So you unlock these fables as you uh, complete the story. So we'll be getting more of these fables. I just thought this would be cool to lead into the prologue or the first episode with a little background, little character synopsis telling you about some of the characters. Now the girl in the first part is actually going to be a mystery for now. We don't have the fable on her, so we don't really know much about her, but we will find out more as the story progresses. So if you liked the video, give it a like, consider subscribing. If you did not like it, let me know why down in the comment section below so I can improve. And click the annotation or find the first prologue episode on my channel now. Thank you very much. See ya!